Hello, I'm Roman Yankovsky. In this video, we will talk about static code analysis. Then I will overview some interesting fix and site features. And the most time we will spend looking at fix and site in action with a sample project. And in the end, I will take any questions. Software quality and reliability are very important. Static analysis allows you to find issues in your code that cannot be found by the compiler. Actually, compiler doesn't care if your code works or not. It only wants its syntax to be correct. Static analysis tools like FixInsight try to make a more broad look at your code and figure out what it actually does to notice you about potential issues. They are not always the actual bugs, but usually these are the places worth paying attention for. This is especially true when you are working with legacy code. It is a well-known fact that the bugs found early in program development are cheaper to fix. It costs significantly more to fix a bug at the end of the project than it does to fix the same bug earlier. And if you have a tool that can help us to reduce the number of bugs at early development stages, this is a good reason to use it. You can use static analysis tool to review your code manually, or it can be integrated in your continuous integration process in order to stop deployment if something very bad found. FixInsight is a static analysis tool for Delphi. You can think of it as a compiler extension that lets you instantly find issues in your code. It's user-friendly and it's integrated seamlessly in Delphi. And it outputs its messages in familiar messages window. It is absolutely easy to use. FixInsight can check your code for potential critical issues. Also, it can check your code for coding convention compliance. And finally, it can even give you some simple optimization devices. Now I will show you several examples. Let's see how it works. There is a simple project. It can be compiled without any hints or warnings. Let's try. No hints, no warnings, no errors. But there are a lot of issues. Let's try to run the fix inside. Uh, you see fix inside output in messages window. If you double click on one of these items, it will take you to the spot in your code where the problem occurs. For instance, there is uh, the empty ex accept block warning means that exception is caught but not handled correctly, which means that the cause of the exception that may occur in try block is still there and affecting the application. Let's remove it. Uh, next, this looks like a typo. One semicolon makes the entire if statement useless. This line of code else always executes unconditionally. Let's remove it. Next, there is a typical copy and paste issue. You see, this block of code is equal to this block of code. Not a big deal if you did this intentionally like for debugging. But in case of an attentive copy and paste, the if statement effectively does nothing and makes the same code execute regardless of this condition. I think it should be like this. False, 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 false. Next. The last line of this loop never executes. Much worse, it, the break statement recites deep in the logic of the block, so the problem becomes less evident 
than it is in this simple example. This example is very simple, but it's just something to show you how it works. It should be like this, I think. Next. Look, uh, this conditional if and else if are the same. Looks like the values uh, was compulse sensor checked against uh, were different sometime in the past, or even these variables were different. I think it was something like this. This could be a source of error. And go ahead. Look, two parameters, one value. It is unlikely that you ever see these coordinates values. This will compile, but will never work. I think this should be like that. Longitude. Go ahead. Dynamic arrays in Delphi are indexed from 0 to length minus 1, which seems to be incorrect in this example. It seems like someone has forgotten to use use there, or the entire block was copied from another part of code and then wasn't modified inside. Either way, uh, this tree looks suspicious in this context. Should it really free up the memory of T4 and 5 instance? I think not. It should be like this. The default caption variable hides the class member of the same name. If you look at form 5 declaration, uh, you will find the property with the same name. So, in this example, default name caption is invisible inside the method. So, the incrementer caption will always be set to the value of local variable, not the default caption property value. But who knows, uh, sometimes you do this intentionally. I will show you another fix inside feature. In order to suppress a warning, you can use a special comment. This is simple. Uh, fi and a number of a warning, w517. Okay, next. This looks like a typo. Accessing a property in is getter and um, get default property is a getter of uh, default caption property. This may lead to infinite recursion. It must be f default caption there, I think. And the final one. This constant is declared but never used in the entire project. It is safe to remove it. Well, uh, let's try to run fix and set again. Look, it's empty. Everything was fixed. And it was not a full list of warnings supported by fix and set. Uh, let's take a look at uh, fix and set settings window. Uh, this is uh, the fix and size settings window. At the left hand, you see a list of available checks and rules, coding conventions, and possible bugs warnings. Conventions are things that should be done in a certain way. They might be described as enforcing a certain coding st style. For instance, one of conventions ensures that all private fields are and variables of a class start with F. It's a long time Delphi convention. Warnings indicate something odd is happening with your code. Either odd or downright wrong. You can select a particular item on the right hand and you will see its short description on the left hand. Some of rules have additional options. 
that also show on the right hand side. You can download a trial from the website and run it against your own projects to learn more. Fix inside also can be run separately as a command line tool. This makes it easy to integrate it in any build process with your favorite continuous integration software like Final Builder. It can output its analysis results as plain text or XML. There is a link to fix inside web page. Also, there is a link to a blog where you can find more practical examples. For instance, there are you can find out how I run fixing site over VCL and FMX of Delphi and what I learned. And especially for code rage participants, I offer a coupon for 20% discount. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it.